So this is Copenhagen's most popular spot. All the tourists come here to look at the colorful houses on the waterfront and to get their pictures taken. Welcome to Copenhagen. This area here is Newhound. The 17th century harbor has always been an entertainment district, in former times for sailors and now today for tourists. It's become quite the expensive hangout. Copenhagen is notorious for its high prices. From accommodation to food and drink and going out, it all adds up really fast. So my challenge is to spend as little money as possible while also enjoying what the city has to offer. Let's go. To get yourself from A to B on the cheap, the best option for public transport is to get a day pass. It costs about 80 Danish crowns, which is about 11 euros, and the ticket is valid for 24 hours. A pretty good deal. This is super cool, it looks like a roller coaster. Or get around like the local Copenhageners. In Copenhagen, you can easily get around by foot, or even better, by bike. And there's plenty of options to rent bikes out here, whether it's just for a couple hours or even for a couple days. A rental bike costs around 13 euros per hour, or you can rent one for the whole day for less than 20 euros. The infrastructure in Copenhagen is superb, which makes cycling a lot of fun and safe, even for tourists. And this way, you can easily see the main sites on your own. But if that's not enough, stop by the city hall at around 10 in the morning. If you don't want to miss the main sites, a sightseeing tour is always a great idea, especially if it's free. You'll recognize the free tours by the guide's colorful umbrellas. Payment is voluntary and donation-based. After an hour and a half with these tour guides, you'll become a true Copenhagen expert. There is uh, one thing you're going to notice uh, on our tour, uh, the absence of old medieval buildings. Uh, that is because uh, the city has burned down twice. Any questions? Shall we go that way? Let's go that way. Let's go that way. If you're a fan of museums, many of them in Copenhagen are free on Wednesdays, so make sure to check that out. The Glyptothek here is one of the city's top museums, with one of the largest private sculpture and art collections in Denmark. Sightseeing has got me feeling peckish. But dining in Copenhagen is quite expensive. A simple dish and drink can cost about 25 euros, a cappuccino well over 5 euros, and even water can easily cost 3 euros. Make sure to have a water bottle with you so you can refill it at different spots around the city and save some cash that way. Cheers! <laughs> but don't worry, there are also some other cheap options. I recommend going to one of the street food markets. The biggest one here is Refin, right at the harbor. There you can get some delicious food for about 10 euros. Or stock up at the bakery. Danish pastries are just heavenly. A pastry like this costs about 3 euros. This is my choice. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go for this one here. This Danish hot dog is called a pölse and has a lot of yummy toppings. A typical Danish fast food. For about five euros, I'm in. All right, let's try my very first pölse. Oh yeah, that's really good. Then there is the matter of staying overnight. Hotels in Copenhagen can easily cost 200 euros per night. If you're fine with shared bathrooms and bedrooms, then I would book a hostel. That way you can get a place to sleep for as little as 50 euros a night. Are you up for some cool trendy neighborhoods? Then Nordbro and Vestebro are the places to be. Cool mixtures of the old and the new. You'll find that it's totally laid back here. This attitude towards life has a name, Huga. Be sure to take a trip to the harbor. You'll find waterfront areas everywhere that invite you to chill out. And they often include spots to go for a swim.
This is so cool. It's a beautiful day today and people are just chilling here, sunbathing, going for a swim at the harbor. And there's many spots like this around the city. They're constantly checking the water quality and when the water quality is good, why not? Why not go for a swim? And it's for free. Remember my tip about the day ticket? This yellow boat is a water bus and you can ride it with your day ticket and cruise through the harbor saving about 100 Danish crowns or 14 euros for a seat on the tour boat. Another insider tip that's free, the roof of the parking garage Konita Luders in Norhaun. Whoa, now this is unexpected. It's probably the coolest outdoor gym in town, a great place to get a workout in or simply hang out in the sun. Not an insider tip and not free either is the Tivoli Amusement Park in the city center, a must for many tourists. However, there is an admission fee, plus you pay extra for the rides. But there is also an awesome alternative on the outskirts of the city. I am in Bakken, the oldest amusement park in the world. And the best thing about it is that there's no entrance fee and you don't even have to queue. There are over 50 rides here, modern and old classics. Unfortunately, they're not free, but the cheapest ride costs just under four euros. It feels so classic, old-fashioned and nostalgic here. I really love roller coasters and this one here is the oldest one in Denmark and it's made of wood, so I'm really excited to ride it. I've chosen the most expensive ride for eight euros, but it's a must. I'm ready. Oh my god, that was way more terrifying and exciting than I expected. <laughs> I'm screaming the whole time, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's time to do the math. How much did this day in Copenhagen cost me? A metro ticket, bike rental, donation for the tour guide, pastry, hot dog, a soft drink, and roller coaster. That all adds up to about 64 euros. Not a bad deal. So, what have we found out today? You can, in fact, enjoy Copenhagen without completely breaking the bank and fully immerse yourself in the city. I know I've had heaps of fun today. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.